Advancements related to the fourth industrial revolution is taking place all the time, even as we speak. From manufacturing to education, robot usage is becoming increasingly prevalent. For our news features tonight, Yi Yunxin highlights how the smart technology is seeping into various sectors. Some 60 million passengers pass through Incheon International Airport every year. With that number set to rise and some high global standards to maintain, South Korea's main gateway is expanding its staff, and their newest employees are quite the attention grabbers. Roaming around the airport is Airstar, a self driving robot that answers questions and provides information to passengers by means of a touchscreen monitor and a voice recognition technology. Where can I charge my smartphone? Whether you need to charge your phone before boarding or look for a ticketing place, Airstar can locate and take you to the destination, carefully navigating through the crowds using a movement sensor. Developed by Korea's LG Electronics, Airstar is joined by another innovative robot. I am now cleaning. May I pass you? We're showcasing five robots for cleaning and five robots for information guidance for six months at the airport as a pilot program. We'll find out what people really need and how robots can better assist them through travelers' feedback, and then we'll be able to enhance the technology. For Korea to install robotic assistance at its main airport was only a matter of time, as the nation has the highest concentration of industrial robots in the world with more than 500 multi-purpose bots seen for every 10,000 employees. Korea uses robot technology in a variety of sectors, like car manufacturing and electronics. Another field is education. Robot-assisted teaching can improve students' creativity and help them become more proactive learners. In fact, a growing number of schools are jumping on board with the idea of expanding software and IT classes in line with the government's aim to prep students for the fourth industrial revolution. While not all schools have yet implemented robot-assisted learning, these 10th graders at Mapu High School get to learn through a hands-on approach, thanks to their teacher. He's one of the early birds to have realized the need to broaden software education. Artificial intelligence and the fourth industrial revolution have been making headlines for some time now, so teenagers are naturally interested in the field of software studies. And students can learn better this way because they realize how the information they learn applies to technology by maneuvering the robots themselves. And for some students, learning about robot software is not limited to the classroom. I got to study coding and programming at this class, and now with what I've learned, I'm actually making a computer game software with my friend. Korea is now facing an era when a variety of fields start to depend on robot assistance, an era researchers describe as the beginning stage of the robotic revolution. However, the full potential of what's about to be the new economic and technology frontier is yet to be unlocked. For a new technology such as robotics to become an industry, manufacturers can't just produce goods according to market demand because there's a lack of understanding of the technology application among customers. Now it's time for the nation to focus more on its marketing strategy and broaden the knowledge of its application in the market. The global robotics industry is expected to be worth some 135 billion U.S. dollars by 2019, almost doubling the amount from 2015. In terms of skill development, experts agree Korea is one of the leading countries in robotic technology. But as the world rapidly takes leaps towards the new industrial revolution, maintaining its stronghold will be another level of challenge. Yin Shin, Arirang News.